Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Today we are going to sing and praise the Lord with the Hallelujah hymns. Let us praise and thank the Lord by clapping in the hands with a cheerful countenance, with a cheerful face. Let's sing and thank the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Makes me sing. Hallelujah, 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 you know makes me sing. Hallelujah, 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 you know makes me sing. Your love is amazing, city and unchanging. Your love is a mountain from beneath my feet. Your love is a mystery, how we did Hands up. Hallelujah. 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 Makes me see. Hallelujah. 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 You know makes me see. Hallelujah. 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 You know makes me see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You know makes me see. Let's sing, let's sing the Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Oh my dear Lord, oh Lord, holy Lord, oh immortal God, we praise the glory Lord. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Glory, glory, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The brothers and sisters, as we begin this episode of Thunder of God, a warm welcome to each and every one of us. If we are in your family, please take the Bible with you. Today we are going to say something different about a person who is the first bishop of Rome, St. Peter. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, as a child, I had known about St. Peter. And whenever I read the gospel, and when I, whenever I saw the character of St. Peter, I had some negative ideas about St. Peter. Because I knew that St. Peter was called from nothingness, was just a fisherman, was uneducated. And God made him the first bishop of Rome, the head of the Catholic Church, the universal church. But when we look into the life of St. Peter, we see there are so much ups and downs in his life. He was a coward. He was a hot-tempered person. He was a person who denied Jesus three times. Though he was given a warning by Jesus that he would deny him, he said, no, I will not deny. But he had to deny God. And also we see, finally, he was also such a coward that when a lady asked whether, do you belong to that group? Do you belong to Jesus? Then at the very same time he said, I don't even know him. And finally we see the life of St. Peter. At the time of persecution, he is running away from Rome. And as he was going to Rome, he is seeing Jesus is coming against him, carrying a big cross. Then St. Peter asked him, Lord, where are you going? Then Jesus said, I'm going to die instead of you once again, to be crucified instead of you. So, such a wonderful person who was a coward, who was not even have faith in Jesus, who was just running away from the persecutions and such a negative idea was in my mind with regard to St. Peter. But, the brothers and sisters, when you closely examine the character of St. Peter, we see he represents each and every one of us. 
he, he was a just an ordinary man like you and me with all kinds of weaknesses with all kinds of shortcomings why god jesus made this man who is hot tempered who is covered as head of the universal church because god wanted to show his power his might through this weak man praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 the brothers and sisters would you please take the gospel of saint luke chapter 5 when we if you have bible with you it is good we see the first incident when jesus meets this man peter we know one day jesus was coming to the uh, the sea shore we see there were two boats and there was in one of the boats peter was there and God, jesus is asking peter did you get anything and he was such a simple person he explained to him lord the whole night we were fishing but we did not get nothing and we are so upset and sad then jesus is telling to him please cast your net on the right side of your boat he was such a simple man dear brothers and sisters he knew by himself that he is a very good fisherman he knew how to fish uh, well but a stranger is coming and telling the whole night you work hard but you just cast your net on the right side and here we see the simplicity of saint peter he never argued with him though he was a stranger he just obeyed the word of god he cast his net on the right side of the boat and he had a great great fishing on that day praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah just imagine he was a person who yielded to the word of god though it was beyond his understanding though it was beyond his intelligence he was completely surrendering to the word of god now just examine how many times have you rebelled against god's plans we have our own plans we have our own thinking patterns we is no whatever you say we don't obey we know you better than you we know things clearer than you dear brothers and sisters here jesus is setting up a very beautiful example through saint peter though you may be very intelligent person you may have big big qualifications but when you obey the word of god in your simplicity you believe blindly and that will be a blessing for you and for your family praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 again when he comes the brothers and sisters in the gospel of saint matthew chapter 14 we see one night while the apostles were on the boat in the sea while they were on the boat and moving ahead they saw something coming against them and some people said it is go it is a ghost and saint peter in his life he has never seen a ghost but he did not understand something is moving over the water to him then some others said it is jesus then we see when he knew that it was jesus he is just jumping into the sea he is asking to the lord lord shall i come to you he said you come on he never bothered about what others said he just jumped into the sea and he was just walking over the water what courage he had and whenever he looked onto the face of jesus he was just moving as if he moved through a a plain land but when he looked around when he shifted his attention we see his downing because whenever you shift your attention from god it is easy for you to fall praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah how many of us have the courage of saint peter to jump into a difficult situation when you know that god is commanding you or god is there we people always depend on our intelligence and this here is a simple man 
This representing uh, through St. Peter, a perfect example how a child of God should dedicate, surrender her, his whole life to Jesus without questioning. And faith is a jumping into the darkness. A jumping into the place where we have nothing to hide. And we have only one belief. Jesus is there. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Again, when you come into the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 16, verse 13 to 15, we see a beautiful appreciation from the part of Jesus to St. Peter. Jesus asking them casually, tell me, who am I? What the people think about me? Many said, you are Elijah. Some said, you are Moses. And Jesus asking to them, whom do you say that I am? And there was just Peter to say, they give the answer. He said, you are the son of the living God. And Jesus is giving a big appreciation, saying that, Peter, this is not the body or blood that is given to you, this knowledge. This is from above. The God of heaven has revealed to you. And he was well appreciated. He was very much appreciated among them. And dear brothers and sisters, he had a little bit of, bit of pride in his heart. He thought, I am better than some others because nobody could give the right answer. I have given the right answer and the Lord has appreciated. And he got the confidence to speak anything and everything. And after a few minutes we see, when you come into the Gospel of St. Matthew chapter 16, there Jesus is speaking about his mission, going to Jerusalem and getting persecuted and being crucified. And when Jesus is narrating the whole story, then the person who was a little proud about himself, he is just telling and calling Jesus apart and telling, oh my dear master, don't say, it did not happen to you. And at the very same moment, Jesus is rebuking him, saying that, Satan, get away. These thoughts are not yours. It is of Satan's. And the Peter was so much upset because a few minutes before he was well appreciated, he had a good ranking. But at the next moment, at the very next moment, he is nowhere. He is calling him by the name Satan. How much upset he had in his lives. Dear brothers and sisters, have you ever thought when some people scold you, when some people correct you, how could you react to that situation? How would you react to that such, such situations? Saint Peter, when he was rebuked, when he was scolded, he did not say anything. He knew that it was God's plan to bring him down to, from the branches of proud or pride nature to come down. And he is patiently, willingly accepting this scolding and this kind of punishing punishment. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So dear brothers and sisters, this is a perfect example for us. Sometimes parents may correct their children. Children are not ready to accept their correction. Wife may, uh, husband may correct the wife. They are not ready to accept it. Your boss may correct you the, uh, in your duties. You cannot accept it because we cannot humble yourself. Saint Peter is a perfect example. He is humbling himself and he is surrendering to the will of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Again, we see when we come into the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 26, we see there at the time of the Last Supper, when Jesus was washing the feet of everybody, St. Peter is saying, no, please don't wash my feet. Then Jesus says, if I don't wash your feet, you will not have a, any, a share in my life. Then he is asking to wash the whole body. He says, it is not needed. Then he was asking, he said, somebody will betray me. Then he is asking, am I the Lord? He said, no. It was somebody else. She was so happy. But Jesus said, you will deny me. He said, whoever, even the 12, 11 of them uh, deny you, I shall not deny you. But Jesus warned him, no, tomorrow you will deny me three times. But he was very sure. I will not do it. But we know what happened in the, in the uh, later times. He was denying Jesus. He had denied three times. Then he remembered. And dear friends, he was so much sorry for what he committed. 
then he came back in the final stages we see saint peter coming and explaining his mind to the apostles he is telling them i am going for fishing then others said we also will accompany and they went for the fishing and you know what happened they did not get anything and the very same night he was a person who knew that without god i can do nothing and we see the final transformation though he was given the power to be the head of the universal church was very weak but jesus did not abandon him god gave to him all these weaknesses because he had to depend more and more on jesus the brothers and sisters the more we are proud of our abilities and our talents the dependence on god will come down it will be very very little so to we know it was a model for us and today as we meditate upon the story of saint peter let us ask the lord lord give us the grace to be humble enough to depend totally on god and to receive corrections in the right perspective not to deny you at any cost and let us become a model let us become get inspired by saint peter the first bishop of rome let's stand up ask the lord our lord send your spirit jesus gave the spirit to him and he became bold and strong our lord we need your power we need your holy spirit so that we may be able to withstand all the troubles that come on our way let's praise and thank the lord hallelujah 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 oh lord hallelujah you hallelujah hallelujah set us a perfect example of human weaknesses in the person of saint peter and it is a lesson for each and every one of us to imbibe to get inspired so that we too may become strong enough by the power of the holy spirit hallelujah 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 breathe upon me breath of god Breathe upon me spirit of the oh, spirit Lord, of the Lord as we lift our hands in surrender to your name oh holy spirit oh son oh holy spirit i me We totally fully surrender ourselves to the Lord Jesus. We adore you holy. Saint Peter was just like a sand and he was made into a rock. So too the brothers and sisters depend totally fully on Jesus. He will make you strong enough to be a witness before the world. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord, we are so happy to have you in our hearts. Hallelujah. 
in front of this holy eucharist let us pray to the lord give us new hope give us new faith in us we have to be filled with the holy spirit a lord when the holy spirit will come to us we will be able to be your witnesses and the apostles when they were filled with the holy spirit they were ready to go everywhere to preach the word of god today we need them the same courage and strength lord oh jesus he was the grace to get away from the disease of this world give us the grace grace to crush satan under our feet give us a new vigor and enthusiasm to become you are light we need to radiate you are light through our lives oh lord we praise and thank you oh my dear lord we praise and glorify you lord hallelujah 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 jesus we great play praise you and bless you and glorify you lord let the power of jesus come down from above the child will be filled with the power of jesus so that we may be able to continue our mission oh lord you have said you have to be my witnesses before the world for well, lord we praise and glorify you hallelujah 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 holy sara bara 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 thank you lord praise you lord praise you lord praise you lord thank you jesus praise you lord is the land glory 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 oh the is the land you are holy the land you are holy let us holy, open our minds and hearts before the lord holy, look up to jesus he is going to bless holy, and each and every one of us he is going to bless our all our needs oh lord we praise and thank you hallelujah 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 Be 